Hi, welcome to Apex Math. Today we're going to look at some different types of functions and how to solve them. Our first function is going to be 2x plus 2 equals 6. What type of function is this? Well, it has an x to the first power, so that should tell you that is a linear function. And how do we solve linear functions? Linear functions are solved by using inverse operations and isolating the variable. So to solve for x here, we want to use the inverse operation. We always leave what's attached to the x to last. So we're going to get rid of the 2 first. It's a plus 2, so we're going to do minus 2. Whatever we do to one side, we do to the other. So we end up with 2x equals 4. And then again, we're solving for that x. So now we use the inverse operation. Since 2 is multiplied times x, the inverse operation is, would be to divide by 2. What we do to one side, we do to the other. So we end up with x equals 2. The next type of function we're going to solve looks like this, x squared plus 3x plus 2 equals 0. Now you'll notice that this equation is a little bit different. On the x variable it has a squared value, so what type of equation is this? Hopefully you notice that it is a quadratic equation. Now when solving the quadratic equation, we do not use the same process that we used to solve a linear equation. When solving a quadratic equation, the first thing you have to do is make sure it is set equal to zero, and in this case it is. And then the second thing is you need to use one of a few different ways to solve it. You can factor, you can use the quadratic formula, you can complete the square, Or sometimes if you don't have an x term, you can take the square root of both sides. But since we have an x term, we're not going to be able to use that approach. So we're going to try first to see if we can factor. So to factor, we're going to notice that there's a 1 coefficient in front of the x. So we're going to multiply this 1 times the 2, and we get 2. And then we're going to think of two numbers that multiply together to give us 2, but add together to give us 3. And it would be a positive 2 and a positive 1. If I multiply 2 times 1, I get 2. And if I add 2 and 1, I get 3. And then I'm going to go ahead and divide both of these by that first number here. Now the reason I'm doing this is this will, process will work regardless of whatever number is here whether this is a 2 or a 3, one of the more complex problems. This is called the bottoms up approach and you can watch an entire video on just how to do this approach um, in those separate videos. The next thing I do is I simply make sure these are in simplest form, which it is since this is a 1 here, these are going to be in simplest form. I put an x on the bottom and I get x bottoms up, so those go first, x plus 2 and x plus 1 equals 0. So the two solutions are actually, the shortcut is you can actually stop here and just take the opposite signs of these. If you don't need to have it in factored form, then the opposite signs of those two numbers that you found after you made your little tree are the actual answers to the solutions. So negative 2 and negative 1. So that's how we solve a quadratic equation. The next type of equation would be something like this. Now what type of equation is this? Hopefully you responded that this is an exponential equation. 
Now, how do you know it's an exponential equation? Because the variable is up here in that exponent position. So how do we solve exponential equations? Well, exponential equations are solved using logs and natural logs. So we first we need to isolate our variable. Our variable is here. It's attached to the 2. So to isolate it, I'm going to have to subtract 1 from both sides. So I get 2 to the x is equal to 3. Now, since all I have is the variable with the uh, 2 here, 2 to the x, I'm going to take the log of both sides. And the reason I took the log of both sides is the log property allows me to get the x from up in that exponent position and bring it down and put it in front of the word log. So now it is no longer in the exponent position. So now I can rewrite it as x log 2 equals log 3. And again, I'm trying to solve for this x, and since it's x times log 2, in order to make the log 2 go away, I'm going to divide by log 2. Come over here, divide by log 2. So x is equal to, you can punch that into your calculator all on your own, but log 3 divided by log 2, and that's just going to e equal some number. So that is how we solve our exponential type equations using logarithms. Now what if we have this type of equation? Three to the x times nine to the two x equals one ninth to the third. Again, you can notice that our x is up in that exponential position. But what's different about this is you can see that all of these numbers have something in common here. Nine can be written as three to a power. So instead of using logs here, I can actually just use a um, change of base in order to solve this equation. So I can rewrite 9 is also 3 squared. And 1 over 9, anytime you have a fraction, you just think of, well, 9 is 3 squared. But since it's a fraction, anytime you see a fraction, you put a negative in front. So 1 ninth is 3 to the negative 2. So I'm going to rewrite this as 3 to the x times 3 squared, and then I'm going to have my 2x, and then 1 ninth becomes 3 to the negative 2, and then I have a 3 there. So now to solve this, since they all have the same base, I can just cross off the base, and remember that when you're multiplying exponents, the property that goes with multiplication of exponents is addition. So this is not a times up here. It becomes a plus because of your exponent rules. So I get x plus 2 times 2x equals negative 2 times 3, negative 6. So I end up with x plus 4x equals 6 or 5x equals 6, divide by 5, divide by 5, x is equal to 6 over 5. So we talked about, just to summarize, a couple different ways to solve some different functions. We talked about linear functions, where we need to isolate the variable. Linear functions is where you just have an x to the first power, and the way we solve is to isolate and use inverses. And this will all be in my study notes. And then we have quadratic functions. Quadratic functions is where you see an x squared term. And that is where you set it equal to 0, factor, use the quadratic formula, complete the square, those are your options 
for quadratic. Then we have exponential. And that's when you see your variable up in that exponential position. And there we have two different ways to solve. We could use logs or natural logs if we have we use natural logs when we see the e to the x. Or if we all have the same base, we could use and convert it all to the same base and use exponent rules. So those are three different types of functions and the ways to solve them. Again, we will revisit these and other types in future math videos. Look forward to doing more math with you at Apex Math.